Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we'll be talking about visual shaders and UV distortion in Godot 3. If you've even watched previous videos on UVs or operators, I recommend that you watch those. So what happens if you don't just use numbers to drive UVs, but what happens if you start to use textures to drive the UVs? You begin to get very interesting results. I mean, the UV input itself is basically a texture, but what if we want to combine this with our other UV capabilities? like offsetting. So right now I've just reconstructed a Y offset system, but instead of plugging a scalar into it, we're gonna plug a texture into it. And you'll see that depending on the image that you use, it distorts it greatly. The distortion is very sensitive. And the way that we can control this distortion is by adding a multiply and plugging that into our tiling network. And from here, as we adjust this, you'll see that we're controlling the intensity of the distortion on the y-axis. Yeah, it's cool, right? Now what's even cooler though is that we're driving this distortion by another texture. So we just copy this whole network and plug it into this texture. And now what you see is we'll be offsetting that distortion texture on the y-axis. Now even better, instead of using a scalar, we can use time as the input. We add a multiply. And if we add a multiply, this will control the rate of time as it distorts that first texture. Now from here, we can do something else that's cool. This is where we can add a sine wave based on time. So we're going to plug our time into sine to drive it. And then we're going to multiply this by our scalar, our intensity. So this is going to drive the distortion intensity. All right, guys, this covers visual shaders and UV distortion in Godot 3. If you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.